guys, I'm back at the van and Beth, Eric, and I are going to be putting in flooring and paneling today, but I'm super excited to share with you a new addition to the van that is really gonna make this thing feel like a home. Here it is. Instagram, you might have already seen this space a few times before, but I've never really announced what our relationship is. Mm -mm. So now that he is officially going with me on this adventure and we're going to be living together in a van, I guess that makes this official. It's official now. Finally. Will you be my boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> We've never had this conversation we before. Oh my gosh. We need to change our Facebook. Mm. Oh yeah, it's official. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. My boyfriend and girlfriend. Finally, that took a year, guys. <laughs> Why didn't you ask me? Yeah, you know, I just waiting for the right time. Modern times, yeah. girl asks a guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I will let Jared talk a little bit about himself, how we met, and all that. So, as she said, I am the boyfriend, aka the co-pilot for the trip. Um, mm. I guess I'll start from the beginning. So I'm originally from Texas, El Paso, Texas, to be exact. And uh, I grew up in the desert, always in nature and getting dirty. So um, when the van popped up, it was kind of a perfect opportunity to continue that. <laughs> and um, moved to Missouri whenever I was about 13 years old. Um, and we actually met in Missouri through First Form, which is the company I work for. And funny story, you're not supposed to date athletes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. when she uh hopped into my life <laughs> it was a big no-no but we don't like following the rules rules are made to be broken <laughs> and don't ask for permission ask for forgiveness that's and that's exactly rule. what we did yes <laughs> and it turned out okay so that's um without getting into the details it was something that neither one of us planned it wasn't expected it kind of just happened about two years ago i saw her and i was like oh yeah she's cool no clue that we would ever be something, had no plans. I was not even interested at all. I was like, oh yeah, she's just super nice. Did you at least think I was cute? You're very cute. Okay. Yeah, I thought she was cute. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say from the very first time we met, even though there was zero feelings whatsoever, you were the most gentlemanly, gentleman? Gentlemanly? He was a huge gentleman. He shook my hand, he looked at my eyes. He had a big smile, and from the moment I met him, I was like, wow, this guy is a good guy. Okay, go back to your story. No, keep going, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop, please. No, go on. Tell so I think that from the very beginning, our relationship has been everything but normal. We fell for each other completely unexpectedly. Neither one of us wanted a significant other at the time. Mm -hmm. We kept our relationship a complete secret for over six months and we have made long distance work for over a year now. And that is why I am 100% certain that living in a van together is going to work for us because it's just another unexpected thing. And I know that we're gonna be okay. I know that it's gonna be amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. It's kind of funny because one of the things we always talk about with the van is how, yeah, it's gonna be super small living quarters. Um, but one of the things we've joked about over the past year or so with being together is how when we're apart, it doesn't matter if we're at our own homes, we don't feel like we're really at home. So the only time we've ever really felt at home is when we're right next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, no matter where we are, cause we've traveled a lot in the past year. I mean, we've traveled almost every single month out of the year. Um, and that's the only time we feel at home is when we're close. So that's why I'm so excited about the van because no matter where we go, we'll be home. Mm. And I can't wait to be home. Me too. Yeah. That was so sweet. Yeah, <laughs> I liked it. All right, so 
a question for you. In the van, what are you most concerned about? Hmm. Well, before you came along, my biggest concern was my safety. And I was really hesitant to do this van adventure, to live in a van because frankly, it's not very safe when you're by yourself. And I get really sleepy when I drive. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be stopping a lot. I'll be driving a lot, is what she's saying. <laughs> I don't have to worry about my safety, which is honestly the biggest blessing about him being here. And I just get my, my guy with me, which is gonna be way better than being alone all the time. Um, but that was my biggest concern. So you just, you just solved that. So now I would say my biggest concern would be, ooh, the bathroom sitch. Okay. So that is close to what my biggest concern is. Not so much for me. What? We don't have a toilet. She's not worried band, about this, way. but I already know what's going to happen is Mother Nature is going to come calling and we're going to be in the middle of nowhere. Number two, is that what you said? Yes. <laughs> and you're going to be like, I got to go. And I'm going to be like, well, go out back. <laughs> I can go outside. You know this. You've seen this. Not number two. I can do that. We'll see. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's your biggest concern? Honestly, my biggest concern is laundry. I know laundry. it sounds weird. That's a good one. It sounds weird, but like, I want to get lost for like weeks at a time. Mm hmm. And we're not taking a lot of clothes, so we're gonna be roughing it. Well, I'm not lucky concerned about that. I'm looking forward to it. We that. can wash our clothes on your abs. No. No. Yeah. We've worked our entire lives for this moment to do laundry on our abs. That's why they have the joke. <gasps> Washboard abs. It's another video to come. <laughs> That's a good idea. Stay tuned. I'm I like that. I'm excited for the unexpected. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much to see and that's something we talked about you know a lot of people always want to go travel abroad which obviously we want to do that eventually we're gonna do that um but there's so much to the united states that we haven't seen even though we've traveled a lot that i'm excited to see how excited i'm going to get about the unexpected what am i most excited for what are you most excited for well besides everything i am really excited about all the food we're gonna eat. Oh, the food. <laughs> and not just going to all the local restaurants and trying food in every place we go, but also cooking in our van. I'm super mm. excited to cook in like a tiny space. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because we don't have an oven. We don't have a lot of space. We have a little tiny fridge. It's gonna be fun though, because we have little cool, and I don't wanna give them away yet, but we have little hacks that we're doing in the mm -hmm. van to make cooking more fun and exciting to where we won't be confined to just a small space. So yeah. I'm excited for everybody to see that. And we obviously will have a mini fridge, so we won't be able to keep a ton of food in the van at all times. So we'll be able to go to local farmer's markets or stop on the side of the road and pick some berries. I don't really know what we're gonna do. <laughs> eat a cow, I don't know. <laughs> no, we're not gonna kill a cow and eat it. Maybe a fish. Yeah. We'll go fishing. Um, but I'm really excited to kind of cook as we go. And every single day we won't really, again, know what we're going to expect. And every day is gonna be a surprise. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, our first date was actually in a tree house. It was awesome. And we had s'mores. We had s'mores. For dinner. We also- Because oh. he burnt the steak. <laughs> he cooked the right, worst so steak. I was a vegetarian for 18 years, so I don't have much experience with cooking, cooking meat. Now- Here, I this was our first date, so I went to the store before he got to Oregon. He flew all the way to Oregon for this date, by the way, our first date. Secret, nobody knew. Literally and nobody. I was like, country boy from Texas. He must love a good steak. Yes, I bought I the most steak. expensive steaks from the grocery store in Portland, which were not cheap. And he butchered them. Not literally, <laughs> he didn't butcher them. He burnt them. They were bit. like tiny by the time we ate them. They were a little crispy. 
We ate them with our thing, but like we just, we also didn't have utensils. <laughs> Something I am a little bit concerned about though is packing my shoes. Mm. What shoes am I gonna bring? I don't know. I like my shoes. I like having a variety of sneakers. I remember the first time I saw your shoe closet. I thought it was a Foot Locker. <laughs> <laughs> I like shoes. Uh, you love shoes. I love. I'm I concerned love about this. And it's not like you're weird about shoes. Like if they get dirty, mm -mm. like they're ruined, you need a new pair. It's just. Well, I have a lot. You just a lot love to shoes. Piece. Yeah. You have so many shoes. <sighs> That's gonna be tough. Yeah. What is gonna be tough for you? Like, are you gonna have a tough time narrowing it down? Anything? No. Maybe your I mean, flannels. as is, I think I have two pairs of jeans. Your jerseys. Oh crap! My jerseys. We he didn't talk has. About that. 30? It's like 38 or something eight like that. Basketball, basketball jerseys. I love basketball. That's gonna be tough. How many are you gonna bring? Uh, like, like two. That's it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, well that's not tough. I'll be all right. I'm not gonna wash them. What are you gonna do with all your jerseys? Box them up? Yeah, they're not going anywhere. Hmm. Yeah. Another thing I'm pretty excited about is we're not gonna shower. We have no shower in the van, so we're not gonna shower. <laughs> Great. Right? right? I don't shower anyways. Good. That's, That's why I wear hats all the time, guys. <laughs> I shower occasionally. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. But we are for real going to be showering in gyms. That's actually what I'm really excited for is being able to go to a ton of gyms all across the country and use their showers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, guys. In advance. <laughs> But really, we're gonna be around water, so I'm not opposed to jumping in and bringing, bringing some soap and- Got some right here. Yeah. Jump in. That's cold. I've done it before. I hate I'm cold water, actually, so that might be hard for me. One of the things we love to do, and we've done since the very beginning of our relationship, is we've sent each other songs that remind us of each other. We started that like literally after a week of talking. It was like maybe a day, day after. <laughs> we have a shared Spotify playlist and we add to it and there's probably a few hundred songs in there by now. Oh, but yeah, the very first song I sent him after literally two days of hitting it off and talking, mm -hmm. texting, um, I sent him the song, Let's See What The Night Can Do. Mm -hmm. By Jason Mraz. And in that song, the chorus says, I wanna get lost with you. And from the very beginning, that's what we've kind of said to each other. Is always wanted to. We wanted to get lost. I mean, we kind of had to get lost a couple mm. times. Yep. Stay off the radar, because we were a secret uh, forever. I think that's how our relationship. I think that's how it really took off. Yeah. Um, I don't know, because I feel like whenever we were just just us, like those first couple of times when I knew, even just coming out to Oregon for the first time, we went out in the woods, our phones didn't work, and you know, in today's day and age, it's like, oh my God, my phone's not working? <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, so we were lost, but mm -hmm. we weren't lost at all. Yeah, I think getting lost is kind of our thing. Mm -hmm. And really is. there's a reason I wrote it on the floor of the van before the hardwood was in, because we've been saying that to each other for a long time, and I cannot wait to get lost with you. Hopefully not literally lost. I know, we're gonna get lost on purpose. We won't be lost. I can read maps, we'll be all right. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Up until this point, I have loved sharing my passion for health and fitness with you guys, but I am beyond excited to now combine other passions of mine, other things I love like traveling, the great outdoors, and this guy right here, and taking you with me on this wild ride. It's gonna be fun. Let's roll. Let's roll. Come on. <laughs> ah, okay.